Hello guys, welcome to this new series related to the crude mechanics, fundamental of crude mechanics by Munson. And this is, this is exercise 1.8 from chapter 1. And the exercise says that if we is a velocity, determine the dimensions of Z, alpha and G, which appear in the dimensionally homogeneous equation. So this is a dimensionally homogeneous equation. So what does this mean by dimensionally homogeneous equation is that the dimensions on the left hand side and the dimensions of the right hand side of uh, both will be equal so on the left hand side we have velocity and we know that the dimensions of the velocity uh, velocity is always meter per second so we can say that the velocity dimensions that is equal to for meter we need to write l and for second we need we need to write t so that is t to the power minus one so we can write that the left hand side dimensions is l to the power t to the power minus one so uh, before finding the dimensions for z alpha and g let's simplify this equation so this is velocity and let's multiply this z so we have z alpha minus z plus g now on both sides of the equation uh, each term need to have the on the right hand side each term need to have the dimensions of the velocity so now we can write that this is we can write that z alpha this must have the dimensions of the velocity which is l to the power t minus 1 and the z must have the dimensions of the velocity And similarly, G must have the dimensions of the velocity. Now, from this we know that Z has the dimensions of the velocity and we have this product. So now, if you want to find the dimension of the alpha, we can write that alpha will be equal to L to the power T minus 1 divided by Z. And the dimensions of the Z are l to the power t minus 1 and if I bring this to the numerator so the dimension the signs will become opposite so we will have alpha and this will be l t to the power minus 1 and l minus 1 t to the power plus 1 and now let's multiply each parameter or each dimension that is l plus 1 minus 1 the powers will add up and t to the power minus 1 plus 1 so this gives us l to the power 0 and t to the power 0 so this means that uh, alpha is dimensionless quantity and the z is has the dimensions of the velocity and g has the dimensions of the velocity we are going to solve this uh, exercise 1 9 this is from chapter 1 and the exercise says that the volume rate of flow Q through a pipe containing a slowly moving liquid is given by this equation where R is the pipe radius and delta P is the pressure drop along the pipe. Mu is the fluid property called viscosity and its dimensions are given and L is the length of the pipe. What are the dimensions of the constant Y divided by H? would you classify this equation as a general homogeneous equation and I decided to explain uh, your answer now we are given the Q so Q is the volume flow rate it's a volume per unit time so we can say that the dimensions of Q will be volume dimensions are L to the power 3 and the time is uh, we can say that this is T to the power minus 1 so this is uh, meter cube per second. The units of this is meter cube per second. So that is L to the power 3 and 2 to the power minus 1. So these are the dimensions of Q. That is the volume flow rate. So now we can write that Q. We can write that Q is equal to pi divided by 8. This is constant into R to the power 4 delta P divided by mu that is the viscosity times L so now delta P is we know that the pressure is force per unit area 
So we can write that P is equal to F and area is L to the power minus 2. It's L square, that is meter square, and in the numerator it will become L to the power minus 2. So let's write this uh, P, this delta P will have the same units as the pressure units, right? So this will be F L to the power minus 2. So now let's substitute all these dimensions. So this is Q and this, the dimensions of the Q is L to the power 3, T to the power minus 1. Now this is equal to pi divided by h and now r is the radius so r is length so l this will be l to the power 4 and the delta p is f l to the power minus 2 divided by mu the, the dimension of the uh, viscosity is given that is f l to the power minus 2 into t and we have length so the length is this l is the length so length is uh, l to the power plus 1 so now this is we can write that this is l to the power t t to the power minus 1 and this is pi divided by h this is constant and now we need to simplify uh, this right hand side so now we need to multiply the same parameters that is the same dimensions so if we multiply this l to the power 4 with l to the power minus 2 the powers will add so we can write that this will be l to the power 4 minus 2 and this is f and this will be f again we, we have l to the power minus 2 and l to the power plus 1 and t so now if we simplify this, this is 4 minus 2, so this will become plus 2. This is plus 2. And here we have, this is minus 2 plus 1, so this will become minus 1. So L to the power minus 1. And now we need to bring these dimensions to the numerator. So the power signs will become opposite, right? So we can write that this will be L to the power 3. L to the power 3, T to the power minus 1 and pi divided by 8. So this is F plus 1 L to the power plus 2 multiplied by F to the power minus 1 L to the power plus 2, uh, sorry, plus 1 this will become um, f to the power minus 1 this will become l to the power plus 1 and this will become t to the power minus 1 so that is l to the power plus 1 t to the power minus 1 and now we need to multiply again the same uh, dimensions that is pi divided by 8 so f plus 1 minus 1 then l plus 2 and plus 1 and then t to the power minus 1. So we will have f to the power 0, l to the power plus 3 and t to the power minus 1. So let's remove this f to the power 0. So as we can see that this dimension and this dimension they are equal that is l to the power 3 and t to the power minus 1. So now since in the problem statement we were required to find the uh, dimensions of this constant that is pi divided by 8. So now if this is l to the power 3 t to the power minus 1 and this is l to the power plus 3 and t to the power minus, minus 1. So from this we can conclude that the constant pi divided by 8 is dimensionless. If we write that pi divided by 8 so if we divide both sides of equation by this dimension, so we will have L to the power 3 T to the power minus 1 divided by L to the power 3 T to the power minus 1. And if we bring these to the numerator, so we will have uh, L to the power 3 minus 3 and T to the power minus 1 and plus 1. 
So ultimately we will have pi divided by 8 that will be L to the power 0 and t to the power 0. So from this we can say that this pi divided by 8 constant this is dimensionless. So if this is dimensionless we can say that the, this equation is homogeneous equation since the value of the pi divided by 8 that is the constant it does not depend on the on the dimensions on the system of the dimensions that is used or we can say that it does not depend on the units that we are going to use. So if this constant is dimensionless we can say that it's a general homogeneous equation and it and this equation can be applied to any uh, system of units. So I hope uh, this will help you in your learning. This is the solution of this exercise. So if this helps in your learning do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more exercises from Fluid Mechanics by Manson.